Hello and welcome back to another video from Gerber Camper Vans. Now today we've got three Cromarty Camper Vans. They're a long wheelbase and we're going to take you on a tour through all three of them. They're all really quite different. Now the two behind me both feature a brand new furniture colour that we're offering here at Gerba and it looks absolutely amazing. So we'll jump in and I'll give you a tour of these vans. I'll show you all the differences and it'll give you a real feel for what the Gerba Cromarty long wheelbase camper van layout feels like. So this van has an all grey look, it's grey paint on the outside of the van and the customer has specced all of this themselves. Volkswagen have built the van, we've done the conversion and then we're about to register it as a brand new camper van. Now this is the new furniture colour that I was talking about, it's a silver blue metallic. Like all our other furniture we use this lightweight willow plywood with the veneer on top of it. It's fantastic, it's used for all sorts of cabinetry, it's the best that you can get, it's super lightweight, absolutely brilliant for camper vans and it's just got a really nice sort of satin finish and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Now this customer has specced both the cabinets and the worktops in the same colour, they've gone for the whole grey look and they've also specced this with a Wallace hob and we've got a can sink with that too. Uh, really great little features. The Wallace Hob has been really, really popular this year. All three of these Cromarty camper vans we'll see today have been specced with a Wallace Hob. It looks amazing and it's absolutely great. It works well. It's great for heating your van. It's great for cooking on. Love it. Now, the Cromarty camper van is a long wheelbase camper van. It's got kitchen in the front, living area in the front, like you can see here. It's got front elevation roof that means the roof pops up at the front and this one also has a roof bed which we'll get to later and as standard our Cromarty comes fitted with a 129 centimeter wide rear bed and these are rib beds so the rib bed is unique and we believe it's the absolute best seat bed product on the market for a few reasons one of them being you've got this nice contoured side that you can sit on it's nice and comfortable and you've got your seat belt you can plug them in and it's also got a nice flat sleeping side on the other side so the 129 comes with three seats making this a total of five passengers and if you were to go for one of the other seats the 120 which comes as standard in our Tyree or the 112 which comes as standard in a short wheelbase if you are to get a Wallace Hob then it becomes a four passenger vehicle the rib seat fits two people on the back seat two belted seats and they're really good I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works so all you want to do is pull the little lever on the side and then the base that I was sat on folds over and you've got access to all that storage on the inside there there's a little lever down here you just want to pull it fold the back down and this is going to give you full 129 centimeter wide double bed and it's 189 centimeters long now if you are a little bit taller than that we do have the option to add in a headrest extension. Basically what Rib will do is fit headrest holes on the seat and we then have an extending piece which clips into these which gives you just an extra cushion if you can imagine it here and it just makes the bed that little bit longer for those of you who are taller. I'm six foot and this is absolutely perfect for me. I have no issues sleeping in it. Now the difference between the long wheelbase and the short wheelbase is 40 centimetres and that basically results in this extra cupboard so if you imagine that we were in a short wheelbase just now we wouldn't have this cupboard it would basically stop here so our worktop would cut in here come along so we would lose about this much space across the length of the van it does make the Cromarty a great choice if you have big dogs because you do get that extra 400 millimetres it's great for the dog to lie on if you've got you know friends round three of you sat in the back, two of you sat in the front and a big dog in the middle just means that you've got enough space to get up and move, maneuver around and do your cooking, access the fridge, maybe you want to get a cold drink or a beer, that sort of thing, so it's great. And again, lots of cupboard space in the Cromarty. So this cupboard house is the water pump, but again, you've got pretty much the full depth of the cupboard, top and bottom, looks absolutely great. And we've got a little flip down in here, which is great for cooking utensils, that sort of thing. You don't get a drawer on this one because the Wallace is quite a big, quite a deep unit. And just above that, you've got the Wallace controller here. That'll let you switch it from hot plate to night heater mode. But it's really, really good. And then again, moving back along the van, you've got all the space in there. Similar thing under here, another big cubby hole, another big cupboard. And we have that important access under the rib seat and you can fit your port a here, your porta potty that just slides in and out perfectly through the gap there 
and we have access at the back too if you have things like skis you can run them the whole length of the van you can also see that we've got pioneer speakers here and here a nice little option and the chromery layout comes as standard as does our Tyree with two tables one you may just see at the side of the camera here which goes over the front passenger seat and then we've got another big one here which I've got set up in the next van so we'll have a look at that when we go over there we also have all the storage in the overhead lockers here now these are nice and deep tall enough to fit a can of beans in so we've really thought about everything you'll need if you're out camping and again we've got a big trunk in the back so you open it up it's double height so you can take out this separating piece and you've got the full depth of the trunk here from top to bottom it's great for storing bedding and pillows that sort of thing all those big items are great in there and we've got full control panel on the back we're using a sergeant system in all our vans at the moment and this controls things like your water pump so i can turn the pump on so i can get water for my sink if i want to do my dishes wash my hands that sort of thing and we've got light control and we can also check our battery statuses and all that sort of thing so that's all done at the control panel at the back here under that we've got our 230 volt which comes on if we're plugged in at the campsite or at home and a couple of accessory sockets just for charging phones that sort of thing we've got one of those either side of the bed so if two of you are lying in bed you can both charge your devices quite handy we've got a little dimmer switch up here for the lights so i can turn them off i can turn them on and i can press and change the brightness make it nice and you know low light if you're sat at night time you'd like the lights down just a little bit you'd like to make you'd like to make the mood a little bit nicer then that's really quite easy to do again we've got spotlights overhead too so if you're lying in bed you can actually put the back piece of the red bed up so you can sort of lie up a little bit read a book you've got your spotlight on your side if you want to see what you're doing it's quite nice and more storage space above that in the rear locker and you also have access when you're in the back bed to this back locker here we call it a wardrobe but it's really just a big storage space that's accessible when you're in bed at night so what we'll do is we'll jump around i'll show you in the back and then we'll have a little look at the gerber roof that's fitted to this one the roof bed it's got a solar panel on it too and it's got some really neat little additional features so let's go do that now so the first thing you'll notice on this one is it's got a four bike rack from volkswagen <laughs> This is Volkswagen's own bike rack and it's absolutely fantastic. You'll see how easy it is to use. You just want to pull it down. You can clamp your bikes in nice and easy. So we'll open this up and I'll show you the back of our Gerber Cromery. Now we've got our Fiamma bipod in here and some other bits and pieces. We've got a tripod leg for a table, but please ignore. The first thing you'll notice is because we've got the Wallace hob, the Wallace is a diesel fired hot plate and night heater and it doesn't need any gas so usually we would have a big metal gas locker in the back just here and because we've got the Wallace hob it means that we've got and because we've got the Wallace hob and we don't need gas it means that we've got the full width of this boot space here so additional storage super important in a camper van and it looks good and you can also I'll just pop out the ladders slide them on here tilt the back like I mentioned before Put it all the way up so if you do have those large items like golf clubs you can set them upright in your boot because you've got that full space to do so so really nice and in the back cupboard here you've got the wardrobe space here so it's really good for storing anything you might need at night time and we can fit an external shower on just here so it's really good for washing your boots or your dogs initial option this one doesn't have it but this is where it would go and again we've got our lights here spotlights for if you're in the back of the van and you need to see what you're doing or these are even handy just as another set of spotlights for when you're lying in bed so yeah so that's the back now let's have a little look at the roof so all of all of our vans come exclusively with our own gerba elevating roof and it's something that we're really proud of it's something that we've developed here and we've really put a lot of thought and a lot of attention into making it the best roof we think on the market so we've done some simple improvements things like bigger thicker gas struts and bigger thicker hinges and they just make it way more stable in crosswinds that sort of thing we do have a full video on a gerber roof which you can find on our channel or i will link it below but 
you'll also see that we've got a fully unzippable canvas and I'll just jump in. And what that means is we've got the only roof on the market which fully unzips and it's on a tracking. So what you can do if you are to damage your canvas or you want a new one after, you know, say 10 years of use, you can unzip it, you can slide the whole thing out, you can even wash it if you want to off of the van. You can order a new one if you are to damage your canvas and you can just slide it in at home. We use a Ventile cotton for our canvases. It's what NATO use for their tents. It has fantastic insulating properties. It's fully waterproof. It looks great and it's really, really tough and durable. And it does also give you the added benefit of being able to pop it up in a way just like I've done so here if you want some fresh air in on a wonderful summer's day. But I would highly recommend going and checking out our video on it on the channel. We can also mount solar panels on the roof. So you'll see the 100 watt solar panel that we've got mounted on this van. And we also have roof rails on this van so we can mount things like the roof bars that you see on this van or a roof box or even a kayak rack. Because we made our gas struts and our hinges bigger and more robust, you can actually open the roof with things on the roof up to about 100 kilograms. So there are a massive benefits to doing that. If you want to add two more people sleeping in the van, you can pop them up in the roof bed. It's great for the kids or the grandkids. All you want to do is pull the roof bed down. You can see we've gone for this beach slatted roof bed design and we have these manufactured, they're our own. And we've also got a nice thick mattress on the top. And now in my van, I like to just climb up on the counter and jump into my roof bed, but there are more professional options on the market and that's where this little roof bed ladder that we can supply comes in. So you just wanna clip it in, pop it on, and it's as simple as climbing up and into the roof bed. And it's really quite comfortable up there. It's absolutely great for kids, like I've said. And if you've got smaller kids, we do have the option of a mesh net, which goes over the front. You can obviously see in and out of that, but it just makes sure that anyone that's up there can't roll out. It's a nice little safety feature. So I'll just pop this up, and it's as simple as just pushing away and that's our roof bed up again. So let's jump into another Cromer 8 and we'll have a little look at what this looks like in a different colour of furniture. So this Cromer 8 has the same silver blue metallic furniture but it has a light oak top and it just gives you that idea of how you can mix and match your furniture from our options here at Gerba. So when you place your order for a new van with Gerba, you will spec the van itself how you'd like Volkswagen to build it. So you'll choose the color, you'll choose if you want a high lane pack, cruise control, all of those things. And then you'll choose the same again in the conversion side of things. And you'll let us know what color you'd like your furniture to be, if there's any small adaptions that we can make, what color you'd like the worktops to be, what sink you would like. And here we've got a can sink. It's quite neat, it comes with this chopping board. I really like it. You can choose how you plan on cooking in your van. So again, we've got a Wallace hob in here and I'll just undo the safety catch, pop it up. So that's really neat too. So this just gives you a little bit of an idea about the bespoke element of the Gerber camper van offering here. But you'll see again that this looks absolutely fantastic. Light oak is just an amazing finish for worktops. So this van's not finished yet, but we'll jump into another Cromer A that's a completely different color again, and I'll show you how that looks. So this Cromerty is almost identical to the first Cromerty that we saw, but you'll see the customer spec it in a different furniture color. So on this one, we've got a nice driftwood finish, which is quite a natural wood finish. Looks really good. And we've also got a Puntinella top on this one. Puntinella is just a sort of granular, dark gray, hard wearing worktop finish. And we've got our tables and our worktops done in this finish. And speaking of tables, you'll notice now that I'm sat with the second table that our Cromerty and Tyrese come with. It's this large table which is stored just up here and it clips into our rail and it's for the back seat so you can slide it in, have it nice and close. I'll just move my leg, bring it all the way in if you'd like and you can sit, you can do some work. I like to work from my van down the beach uh, or you can have your dinner, that sort of thing. In terms of appliances, we've got Wallace Hob in this one and we've also got the can sink again. We saw that in the last one but another fantastic looking van We've got the large Vitrofrigo fridge in here. This van's been specced with a roof bed too, and all these vans are waiting on their bespoke curtains coming in. So what you can do is you can go onto Terry's Fabrics website and you can choose any of the patterns that they'll supply and we'll make them into curtains for your van so you can add just another little special touch to your van. So once the curtains are done on this, they'll go through the final checklist 
and we'll get this all cleaned up and ready for the customer to come and collect. Hopefully you've enjoyed the tour of these Cromarty camper vans. If you have enjoyed it and you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you like, what you think about these vans, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.